Hey guys, I am Foxtrot Delta, and welcome back to some more Star Trek Legacy using both the Ultimate Universe mod 2.2 and the 11 mod. And we are back once again for the third time in a row with the Klingon Civil War because it is such a neat concept and the ships are all really cool. So I, I had to keep on doing it. So, for those of you who aren't entirely certain of what's been going on, you know, the, there's a splinter group attacking the Klingon Empire, and we're at the point in the Klingon history where it's uh, sort of the, just around the Deep Space Nine era, sort of just after, you know, how how Galron is no longer leader of the Klingon Empire, and Martok is the head honcho of it all, and Worf's at his side doing, you know, Worfly things. And so when I was putting this battle together, I was trying to find a way to sort of represent that both Martok and Worf were here. So I think I've done that. I have the Klingon flagship here, which will have Martok on it. It's accompanied by a few Klingon escort vessels. Well, escort vessels in this case are the battleships, because why not? So we have some Vorcha battleships helping out. You know, attack cruisers, that's their Vorcha attack cruisers. You know, the point is that they're, they're, they're large vessels that can blow things up. So you have a few of those uh, running around, three of them to help us out because we were going to come under attack by Splinter Faction forces. And we also have Worf here, and how do we know Worf is here? Because we have the Defiant helping out. Uh, it might not be THE Defiant, but it is a Defiant class vessel. You can't see it here, you can't see it uh, until we get into the actual match. It will be there. And so yeah, we have Martok and his ship, traveling to somewhere, doing something with an escort. You know, he's doing big, you know, Klingon High Chancellor things. And Worf also decided to show up just in time, because we are about to come under a, an attack Sensors from the enemy. the enemy. On the enemy side, we have a bunch of Batleth vessels, uh, a couple Negvars, and some Feckler ships as well. So let's go meet them in battle. Aye, Captain. Watch now, the Defiant ahead. is right there. It's actually the Horizon, but for our purposes, it's the yes, Defiant. The Maybe Empire. warping right towards the enemy the wasn't the brightest idea I've had. Uh, probably not. Taking a lot of hits to the shields already. Ooh, but the Klingon Intelligence... Vorchas, I forgot to mention they're actually Klingon Intelligence variants, are already opening fire. Things... Wow. Wow, look at that. R destroyed one ship with the torpedoes on the uh, Vorchas. I think they're the exact same torpedoes as, as this. Not bad. He might not have needed the Defiant. I don't know. It's a uh, warp. Wait a minute. Is that Our vessel decapitated? Captain. Hold on. Our shields can't take many more hits, Captain. I need to see this. I need to know. Okay, no, it still does have its front on it. Okay, where is the Defiant? It is. It is here. There it is, right there. Firing its phasers. Taking a lot of hits from these Feckler class vessels. As a matter of fact, I'm going to change targets to this one. See if we can take out his shields. Captain, enemy shields are down. Their shields are down? Eat my torpedoes. Okay, that was very uh, anticlimactic. Sensors report enemy shields <clears throat> Warping. That was actually not on purpose, but I decided to say it like it was. There's the Defiant class. Still a lot of hostile ships out there, but their forces are weakening. I'm just gonna attack everything. Just shoot everything. Get them all nice and, and angry. Come on, torpedoes. 
That should destroy him. Yep. Target, Target destroyed. destroyed Captain. Hopefully that will cause a chain reaction. Target yep, another vessel destroyed. Eh, eh, oh. Phasers ready, Captain. So we destroyed, I think, two enemy ships there with that. Not bad. My disruptor fire will be the last thing you ever see again. Okay, now I think we're gonna outnumber them Photons pretty soon. Target, Captain. Negvar destroyed. destroyed Captain. Pretty easy win for the Klingons. Well, uh, well, for for the Klingon side that I'm fighting on. I mean, we're we're all Klingons here. Photon torpedoes ready. Target shields down. What a failed attempt to assassinate the uh, Chancellor. Oh, something just exploded. Well, okay, no, th th that was the ship I was firing on. At first I thought it was an allied vessel we just lost. I was really concerned. But no. Well, maybe. Did we just lose that? We just lost Worf. Really hope he beamed aboard before his ship was destroyed and... Uh, oh my gosh. It's just one chain reaction after another. And the Negvar was taken out. Is the bat length gonna be hit? Of course they did. Are we gonna win just by secondary explosions? Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. Well, our, our entire fleet went from uh, quite a few ships to none. Oh, the, oh, that's adorable. They're trying to shoot torpedoes at us. I disrupt a fire. Will be the last thing you ever see again. Okay, power, I'm getting tired of this. I'm just gonna sit back and relax and ju ju just just watch. We have Target prevailed, so Captain. the loyal Klingons have prevailed. Once again, we've lost our entire fleet, uh, just like in the very first battle we did. Except for our one flagship, which was this one. We lost everyone else to a chain reaction, which was pretty ridiculous, but it was fun. So if you guys enjoyed that battle, which was just over six minutes long, then please be sure to leave the video a like. And if you are not subscribed and you want to see more with them, please subscribe because there is always more Star Trek legacy on this channel. If for whatever reason you guys did not enjoy the video, however, I do apologize for that. And I ask that you leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know how I can better improve the quality of the next videos that I produce so that hopefully you guys will be able to find some entertainment in watching them. And as always, if you want to see any specific type of ship or battle scenario, well then please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section regarding that. And I will read through all of those suggestions and ideas and I will do my best to use those recommendations in my future videos. So as always, I am Foxtron Delta, and I will see you next time.